this uh, wedge idea is a really important, actually it's quite an important framework uh, for allowing us to develop uh, a analytical, a sensible, practical, and analytical uh, policy that leads to uh, a solution. It doesn't, it is not the policy itself. It's a framework for thinking about uh, uh, developing a, uh, uh, you know, a rational uh, policy. It teaches us uh, in particular that uh, in order to avoid this business of doubling our emissions, we need to deploy these things rapidly. The wedge game is pretty amazing because it shows you very graphically how big the task is to solve this problem that we have to face on the one hand, but on the other hand it kind of breaks it up into bite-sized chunks. And I think that's the main thing for people is that they really see there's 8, 10, 15, 20 different things we could be doing that could scale up to very big solutions and really solve this problem. It was nice to hear people discuss it and have great ideas. Um, I'd love to see this game played with like real economists and um, energy companies and that sort of thing. See what the realistic solutions might actually be. But you know, it was neat to hear different perspectives from high school age to undergrad to graduate students. So that was pretty cool. is that oil actually, the oil that we are using, is algae from, you know, millions of years ago. We could try another forest storage to appeal to the environmentalists. Put the big wind turbines out in the ocean, yeah. they stop working and they waste much more. The wedges that we chose to add to our pie chart are efficiency transport, efficiency buildings, uh, wind electricity, solar electricity, uh, wind hydrogen, and then the forest and soil storage. We decided to try to balance our approaches over the different interest groups and over uh, and within each category. And to that extent, our primary approach was trying to have some appeal within the energy industry. The message of this game is it's really fun to play and interesting, um, but we can never really tell what the future is going to be, but we can bet on a lot of different options to think about uh, what direction we might want to go.